my YouTube is Yolanda. Do y'all know that I done sat up in these churches for many, many years? And I asked myself, who were the Israelites? And why don't y'all ever preach about that? And what did these people look like when they walked on earth that are in the scriptures? And why don't y'all ever preach about that? And then I asked myself, did any of these people look like me or my grandma or my mama or my papa? And why won't y'all ever preach about that? And then I asked myself, why is black history such a secret? And why do y'all only give black history one month out of the year? And it's the shortest month on top of that, the month of February. You can ask most black people, where are your roots? Where did you come from? And most of them can't even tell you. So I started doing my own research and I started praying and I started fasting. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Black history. What do you know about black history? Let me ask you a question. Prior to the transatlantic slave trade in the 1600s, what was your nationality? What did you call yourself? Some may say African. Well, Africa is a continent. And in that continent, there's over 47 different countries in there. Which one do you come from? What language did you speak prior to the 1600s? Was it English? There's over 1,500 dialects being spoken in the land of Africa. Pick one. What clothing did you wear? Was it high heels and stilettos? Skinny jeans and vans? What food did you eat? Hamburgers and hot dogs? French fries and SpaghettiOs? What religion did you partake in? Who was your God? Was it Christianity and Cesare Bolger? Most of you have no idea about the answer to these questions. You have no recollection of any history prior to the transatlantic slave trade. Now, is that a coincidence or by random chance? I don't think so. Have you ever asked yourself, why is it that in the public school system, that every time the subject of black history is taught, it always begins in the 1600s and with slavery. Why is that? Yeah, why is that? When you come to America and you talk to people about slavery, you can, you, you talk, you can talk to black people about slavery, white people about slavery, and, and they'll, they'll give you all this history on slavery, and it only goes back to the 16th and the 17th century. And you're like, don't they teach you the history of slavery? Why? Ask the bloody question. Why are they only teaching you the history of slavery as far back as the 16th and the 17th century? Why are they only going that far back? Doesn't that raise some antennas and spark inquiry? Why is it that the public school system is so committed to revolving black history solely on the past 400 years? Why is that? Because they don't want you to go farther back than that. Because then you'll actually find out the truth. The history books are not true. It's a lie. That's right, my The history books are lying. You need to know that. You must know that. Uh, is it because there's a deficiency in historical data? Or maybe it's because there's no history at all prior to the 1600s. Maybe black people just poofed out of thin air sporadically landed on slave ships and they said hey we got a new species here and start importing and exporting them all over the world maybe that's what happened the question arises what is the drawback on this history why does it keep being withheld what's the big idea about it why is it being held hostage that's the question Why can't it be expounded on a hundred years prior to the 1600s, 300 years, 500 years, a thousand years? Why is that information not being revealed? 
What's the big secret? What's the mysticism about it? What you're going to come to realize is that your identity is the biggest kept secret on the planet Earth. Oh, you thought that NASA and the space station and the secret missions being conducted by them, oh, you thought that was the biggest kept secret on Earth. No, this is bigger than that. You thought that the government and the CIA and the FBI hiding information about UFOs and Planet X and Nubiru and aliens, you thought that was the biggest information and biggest kept secret. No, this is bigger than that. But why though? The elite confederate has spent billions of dollars and constructed an innumerable amount of psychological strategium to ensure that you never received and acquired this information that's about to be put out. You're about to receive pertinent information from some of the most reputable biblical scholars, historians, and archaeologists. And they all know something that you don't know. And that's your identity. Ham, the youngest of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. Did you say not the Negroes? But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Wait. The churches and the pastors, which are set up by the government, all teach in unison a doctrine that all black people come from the seed of Ham. But once you open up scholastic sources, you'll find out that the biblical scholars say something totally different from what's taught in Orthodox Christianity. Now why won't y'all just speak the truth? What do they mean by Ham is the father of the dark races, but not the Negroes. The Negroes themselves are a dark race of people, so how can you say that Ham is the father of all these dark races and exclude the Negroes? What are the biblical scholars trying to convey? What the biblical scholars are saying is that you're not African. Now you know this is a crying, crying shame. There's only four families according to the Bible that make up the native population of Africa or the land of Ham. And the biblical scholars know that you don't descend from any one of those four families. So biblical scholars even know this for a fact. In order to write that in a scholastic and academic book, the biblical scholars have done extensive and thorough research on both the so-called Negroes and the Africans, the native Africans. And they've came to the conclusion after the extensive research that the Negroes don't have anything to do with the native Africans at all. So y'all did that to keep us lost. The two totally separate people. In the 1840s, Morton collaborated with George R. Glyden, an Egyptologist who provided him with mummy heads and information about the racial significance of Egyptian tomb inscriptions. In Crania Egyptiaca, published in 1844, Morton pointed out that both cranial and archaeological evidence showed that the Egyptians were not Negroes. In 1840, Dr. Morton was trying to find out the racial origin of the so-called Negroes that were in America in slavery. So he got together with the Egyptologists, which supplied him with the mummy heads, and what he did was conduct an extensive research on the cranial remains of the, uh, the heads in Egypt uh, in contrast to the cranial remains of the heads in America. And what he found out is that the Negroes that were in slavery were not Africans. Now ain't that something? He found out that the skulls were two totally different types of skulls. The Negro's head was longer than the Egyptian head. The physical characteristics from the outside look similar with the thick lips and the broad nose. But once you start delving into the, the real characteristics, they found out that they were two totally different people as abolitionists and colonizationists had maintained. And that in fact, 
blacks had been relegated to the same servile position in ancient Egypt as in modern America. But what Dr. Morton did discover is that the Negroes that were serving slavery in America served the same position and servitude in ancient Egypt when they matched other skulls and other cranial remains in Egypt. They said these are exact matches. So what are the scholars saying? What you're gonna find out is that they're saying that you are the biblical Israelites. Wow, wow, and wow. Number one, you have the Negro nomads that were exiled from the kingdom of Judah. Number two, you had indigenous black African hunters that resented the regal Negro nomads that had come into their territory with their own customs, with their own laws that were different and would not assimilate into their tribal culture. They were their own tribe. They were the regal house of Judah. Number three, you had Islamic trappers that worked with the indigenous black Africans to trap the regal Negro house of Judah. And then you had them sell them to the Ashkenazi ship merchants, along with many Portuguese and British Ashkenazi. Yes, you're the same exact people that served slavery in the land of Egypt. You're the same exact people that God sent Moses to go redeem under the hand of Pharaoh. Y'all done hear this from us. Ain't that something? Jews are believed to have settled in Western Africa during the height of the Songhai, Mali, Ghana, and Canaan Bornu empires. According to accounts from explorers of the region, several powerful Jewish families of the Songhai Empire were of Jewish origin. Some accounts place West African Jewish communities in the Andu forest of Dahomey, south of Timbuktu. In the 1930s, these groups still maintained a Torah scroll written in Aramaic that had been burned into parchment with a hot iron instead of ink so it could not be changed. In the 1930s, the historians went over there and still found Israelites over there that didn't get captured in the slave trade, still practicing the Hebraic faith, still knowing who they were. With a Torah, which is the first five books of Moses, written in Aramaic. That's the ancient language. And it's a shame that they have to burn it in hot iron so nope, so the European colonialists don't come over there tampering with it and taking the evidence and trying to hide the history. Wow, that is so deep. I told you that you was a bunch of Negroes running around on the west coast of Africa, butt naked, swinging from vines. Who told you that lie? You were and still are a prestigious people, a skillful people. You, you can hear me clearly, uh, Rabbi. Let, let us have your name once more. Uh, my name is Rabbi Yehuda Ben Shomer. Okay. Well, is it okay if we just called you Yehuda? Uh, yeah, that's for fine. Today? No, yeah, okay, that's fine. No problem at all. I'll go on even further to say this: that the um, the slave trade uh, is is actually connected to Deuteronomy 28 because the majority of the slaves that were brought to the Caribbean islands and brought to the Americas were Ibu people, were people of Hebrew and Hebraic Israelite descent, if you will. And so if you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, it matches perfectly what happened to the Hebrew slaves, the black Hebrew slaves, during the slave oh. trade. It just matches oh, it perfectly. Oh, 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 back up now. I think, I think we just rung a bell here. Hold up now. <laughs> okay. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold, hold the presses. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold up. I hope everyone is listening to this. This is, this is, uh, uh you about to rock some boats now, uh, uh, Ben, Ben, uh, Ben Yehuda there. You sure right, Ben Yehuda. You sure is rocking boats. 
Uh, hold, one, hold, hold up now. Listen to what he's saying here. So you are saying that there's a great chance or more so that the black people that links directly to the slave trade are from the lost tribes of Israel. Is that what you're saying here, sir? Yes, I am. Crying shame. We all know February is Black History Month here in Babylon. So as a Gentile, I'm here to profess. Black people, you are Israelites. You are the chosen ones. You are a prestigious people. The president of Egypt, Gamal Abdul Nasser, that was uh, with Time Magazine, you know, he stated that what? The Jews will never be able to live here in peace because they left here black but came back white. Now also, he went on live television and made this statement because it's the truth. The biblical Jews are so-called black people. They're of a dark race, a dark complexion. And the Israelis that's in the state of Israel right now, okay, they're not the real Jews, okay? In fact, they are Amalekites, Khazarians. Because the real Jews are you so-called Negroes here in America. Jeremiah 14 and 2 says, Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. They are black and to the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. So standing right here, the real Jews are what? They are black into the ground, okay? They are of a dark people. And when you go into the word black in the Hebrew, you get the Hebrew word kadar, means to be dark. And Jew is short for what? Judah. But the Jews in itself will be you so-called Negroes from the tribe of Judah, also what our Lord uh, sprang from. The true Jews... They wouldn't be in their homeland right now. In fact, that the Jews will be under curses right now. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, from the 15th verse to the 68th verse. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with a sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee, until thou be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies, Thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt, and with the emeralds, and with the scab, and with the itch, whereof thou canst not be healed. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. 
Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look, and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore botch that cannot be healed, from the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. The Lord shall bring thee, and thy king which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And wow. Thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shalt gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shalt neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coasts, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thine olive shall cast his fruit. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign, and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy land, until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy kine, or flocks of thy sheep, until he have destroyed thee. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates, until thy high and fenced walls come down, wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which the Lord thy God hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy God hath given thee in the siege, and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee, so that the man that is tender among you, and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave, so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left him in the siege, and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot 
upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear. For she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in thy gates. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses, and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee, until thou be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy God. And it shall come to pass, that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good, and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you, and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. There is no other race of people that the curses in Deuteronomy 28 fit, except the Negro. The real Jews are black. Mashiach was hidden in Egypt as a baby. All right, how would he been hidden over there? If he was white, he would have stood out. The Hebrew Israelites are black. What I'm about to tell you is that the Israelites, the so-called Jews that are living in Israel today, are not the real Israelites. The real Israelites are the black and brown people of the world. What happened was when the black people that were the true Israelites and the brown people that were the true Hebrew Israelites fell from God's word as it is written were cursed. So what happened was Rome came and sacked that land and they all fled. They went in all around the place, all around up north, south, east, west, but mostly, mostly down into Africa. They lived there for a little while in the wilderness until they were taken by slave ships to the Americas. The people that are in Israel today are converts. They come from Khazaria, which is southern Russia. They were visited by Hebrew Israelites at one time and learned from them. That's how they know all the customs. They can speak Hebrew and all that. They learned that. But they converted to Judaism. They are not the true Hebrew Israelites. That scripture say, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, but are of the synagogue of Satan. It's true Hebrews. There's a true people of the Most High that is scattered throughout the nations of the earth this day. It is not 
whom that many people believe they are, such as the so-called Jews in the nation-state of Israel that we so see before us right now. I would interject that the true biblical Hebrews are the so-called African-American people that are scattered abroad throughout the world. Shalom to everyone, to the children of Israel, to the twelve tribes, to the saints of the Most High. Um, I got this book when I found out the truth. This book is called Into Egypt Again with Ships, A Message to the Forgotten Israelites, Elisha J. Israel. And I recommend it to anyone who wants the truth of who the true Hebrew Israelites are. And this is an amazing, amazing book of who the true Hebrews were. It wasn't enough for me to just know. I felt it was my duty to go in and truly study their history and what they endured. Because I have a hard time those of you with white skin saying, it's in the past. It doesn't matter. So my question to you, white people, is what are you proud of? The true Jews, according to the Bible, you can check it in the Bible, you can read Job 30, 30. That scripture say, my skin is black upon me, and my bones burn with heat. other places they have never been white they have been people of color from West Africa they have been taken as a slaves to America brothers and sisters blacks of America it's you you are the true Hebrews you are the true Hebrews from the Bible America gonna be, do everything gonna invest as much money as it has and gonna fight as much wars as they as they can gonna invite as much weapons as they can just to hide this away from you gonna take Israel gonna bring white people here just to tell you this lie that that you are nobody and we are the Jews with all the history and so on it has been deleted your history you don't know who you are don't forget about it this is why America has been taking your history away never to find out that it's all about you I'm telling you this, please, I don't, know, I don't ask you to come to Israel and to start a revolution. I'm just try, asking you to start thinking this way, to believe me a little bit. Because I'm living in Israel and I'm part of this uh, injustice. I really believe that people like me and you, we can, we can bring the justice back. Thank you. So even people in Israel is speaking the truth now. Wow. Shalom, shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people that was stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are. But you are the children of, of Yahweh, the children of Israel. And I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem, because us the Gentiles, we do need you. Now I understand and I'm very sorry for what Greeks, Romans, Ottomans and all empires uh, and pagan people did to Negro brothers who suffer a hard bondage and atrocities. Uh, this is the Holocaust. Real Jews, Israelites or Hebrew Israelites have a black skin complexion and uh, hair like wool. Um, you so colored Africa, Afro, -Ameri uh, Afro Americans, or Africans, or blacks, or Negro must wake up. You are the real Israel who suffered the slavery and scattered on the earth through slavery. Read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, you are from tribe of Judah by blood. This is really, really something. It really, really is. This is so, so crazy to me. Go ahead, sir. In your body is the spirit of Most High. You are the living temple, are the only hope for entire earth. You are the living temple. You are the real church. Your hope is not in cold 
with uh, religi religion, with uh, churches, with uh, stone and wood. I want to go into Genesis chapter 15, starting at verse 12 and ending on verse 14. And it says that as the sun was going down, Abram, and we know who later became Abraham, fell into a deep sleep, and a terrifying darkness came down over him. Then the Lord said to Abram, You can be sure that your descendants will be strangers in a foreign land, where they will be oppressed as slaves for 400 years. Genesis chapter 15 verse 14 that says this, But I, God, will punish the nation that enslaves them. And in the end, they, you, my chosen black brothers and sisters, or the Hebrew slaves back in the New Testament, will come away with great wealth. Because your 400 years will be up in 2019. What a lot of people fail to realize is that what's being taught to you in the Bible is um, bits and pieces. And people don't actually go and read their Bible or get an understanding of their Bible. Um, the Catholics took over, Rome took over Christianity and um, conformed it. So we have a conformed piece of the Bible and every religion that comes to existence has to go through the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has made our Jesus white. The Catholic Church has whitened out the Bible and made it not important of who these Hebrew Israelites are. Um, the Jews that are in Israel today are not the Hebrew Israelites. The Jews that are over there today are actually the ones that have funded slavery. They uh, run our media. They run our um, Wall Street. They run everything. Um, music. They run music. They run all of it. A uh, Jewish name is on everything that controls our country um, and people just they they don't look at what the prophecy has said they don't look at what revelation says it says that they're the people in israel um will claim that they're israelites and they're not Um, Psalms 83 talks about um, the different nations that would cut off Israel as a nation. And um, we all have been brought up um, to think that the white race is superior because of that. We have been brought up to serve a white God, a white Jesus. And that's not the way that it is. Um, when Jerusalem was overtaken by Assyria, the tribe of Judah went into hiding into Africa. There are, are tribes still in Africa now that believe and go by the Hebrew laws. Um, and when Africa sold their people, that, they, that everyone has come to think that that's the way that it was. That is not what happened. Africa did not sell their people. They sold the people who were different than them. They sold the Hebrew Israelites that were hiding. The people that are here, the black people, the people of color that are here, that have been brought here from Africa, their ancestors brought here from Africa, are the Hebrew Israelites. Um, they're even in the uh, African dictionary 
African and Negro are two different things, are two different classifications of people. Um, the Africans were the tribe of Ham. Ham was not a Israelite. Um, the people that were brought here was the true Hebrew Israelites. <clears throat> and this war, everything that's going on in the Middle East, it is all because they know, countries, other nations know that the people that are there are not the true Israelites. And when all of this comes together, all this war and all this um, thing, things that's going to happen in Revelations, when all that comes together and the Hebrew Israelites return, the true Hebrew Israelites return to Israel, the world will be a better place. And if you sit here and you think that it doesn't matter, or you think that, okay, um, so what, he was black, so what, you are a part of the problem. You are a part of what they have done to these Hebrew Israelites, to God's chosen people. You are a part of that. They have deceived you, and you've let them deceive you. You've let them make you feel superior and you're not um no a lot of times we want to point fingers and say well we've done this we've done that they need to come up and they need to uh live better and do better and it's their problem this that and the other but what have you done what have you done to go in there and show these people and tell these people that they are somebody that they are worth being somebody all that anybody has ever done is beat these people down and what have you done your you, your ancestors were able to go get loans for a house to move and have a home and was given opportunities so now you are living off of that opportunities that they had yeah we may not all live perfect uh rich we probably all don't live a certain way but I have a a privilege I have a privilege because I'm white I have a privilege to go somewhere and not be looked at as um, a thug or um, looked at like I'm a, a somebody that's going to hurt somebody they criminalize black people they criminalize people of color they lied and said that they were raped or they lied and said that somebody stole this or stole that did this or did that and they put them in jail and now they're criminalized there's more people of color in jail now than they were slaves back in slavery and it's ridiculous what has been done to these people and everyone just wants to say get over it get over it well why are we living a deceitful lie why are we not accepting the truth why are we not accepting that our God created us in his image he created and we came from the man of color we did not come from a white man we came from a man of color our ancestors was of a man of color and something happened that caused us to not have melanin in our skin and that is why God didn't hate Esau because he was white he hated Esau because he knew what Esau would do he knew what he would take his whiteness and use it for and it was to be evil and deceitful and to change the way that people perceived the Hebrew Israel Israelites these Hebrew Israelites are they're God's people and we just nobody cares now you know this is really really something Hollywood made fun of the truth about the Israelites in their movies let me show y'all cause you can't hang around Jerusalem no 30 some years and don't wear no hat and stay white <laughs> how do we know Jesus wasn't black he could have been from the lost tribe of Israel. They were supposed to be black. I bet they were. If ever people were lost, we're it. <laughs> the lost tribes of Israel were black. The 
lost tribes of Israel were black. And then here's a shield showing that we were great warriors. With a Jewish star on it. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what that means. That means, Fred Sanford, if I know my Bible, and I know my Bible, you are a descendant of a king. A king of the Jews. <laughs> And if you're a king, you're also Jewish. Jewish? <laughs> Do you hear that, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, honey, I'm Jewish. This is it. This is the big one. I'm coming to join you, honey. I'll be the one with the chicken soup. Okay. Well, we're going to see how funny it is when that Messiah comes. The year 2019 will mark officially 400 years of slavery as prophesied in Genesis. And what comes after that? The 10 plagues, judgment is coming to this nation we call America. If you continue to eat this pork, if you continue to bear false witness against the true Hebrew Israelites, which are the so-called African-American black people, if you can continue to wallow in your sins, continue to give worship to a false white God, who you call Jesus, who's not even the real name of the Messiah, judgment is coming. And holiday pagan worships, get away from these other pagan gods and these gods of wood and stone. And yes, I'm talking about the cross. Get away from all of that. Get away from all the evil of the world. Be ye separate from the world and get into truth. You all need to see this quick, fast, and in a hurry. Y'all, this is crazy. It is. I mean, this this just takes all right here to me. You know, it really do. They done told lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. All this and all these lies to cover up the true guide of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the true identity of these Israelites. Wow. That 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 is really something. It really is. It really, really, really is. And it makes all the sense in the world to me now. Everything makes sense. Everything makes sense. All the questions that I had that I didn't understand when I used to be asking all those questions in church and asking all these different people questions and these pastors and all that, and they would run from answering my question. It makes sense now. It really do. But you know, I'm not even mad though. I was mad at first. Yes, I was. But I am hurt. But you know what? I'm going to live the way my Messiah want me to live. In a way that I know he proud. And that's to love everybody. To speak love, but speak truth. Now I'm going to speak truth now. You know? If I accepted a, 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 a white messiah, being black, negro, colored, whatever you want to call me, then why can't the other cultures accept the truth when they find out that it is people of color in them scriptures? And them Hebrew Israelites is the negroes that they loaded up on them slave ships and forced over here in America. You got to accept what the truth is if you love the Messiah. You can't walk around like that. Any anger that you feel, you got to give it to that Messiah. And allow him to change your heart. To all y'all, speak truth and spread truth. Wake people up and tell them what the truth is. Try to let them know what's really going on and what the Bible is really all about. And what the big secret was with, you know, a uh, 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 black history and, and black history month. I always wondered that. I'm like, why do black history uh, 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 only get one month out of the year? And that's, and that's the shortest month in the year of February. Why is that? And why, whenever you speaking of, of black history in the schools and, 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 you know, when you read about history, why does it always be, begin at slavery? How can that be? There's no way. We what we just began at slavery? Where we come from? How how did black people begin at slavery? Oh, because they came to America. And that's how they began at slavery. That's when they their 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 culture began. But what about before that though? 
Wow. Being confused, just like JJ said on that good time clip I showed y'all. If it's ever a people that was lost, oh yeah, we definitely it. That's no question on that. If ever people were lost, we're it. <laughs> but you know, all of us need to speak truth. And all of us need to seek Father God in truth. That scripture say, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. It's about the truth with our Messiah. Because I don't have the type of heart. I don't have the type of heart to, to just intentionally try to hurt a culture or a people. I, I don't have that kind of heart to do that. I don't care if you Asian, I don't care if you, you will whatever your culture is. I don't have the kind of heart to intentionally hurt someone. I, I, I can't do that. I don't have that in me. No. I love all y'all. And I thank y'all so much for watching. I make each and every video that I make to glorify Father God. And to glorify his kingdom. I thank y'all so much for watching. May our very soon coming Messiah be with you. And God bless you.